This video is going to show you how to download the Car Seat Check Form app and how to use it on your phone or tablet. So first, go to the Play Store, or if you're on Apple, the App Store. Click Play Store. Then up at the search, start typing Car Seat Check Form. And then it should be the first one that pops up with a green um, background and a white outline of a booster seat. Click that and then click install. Give it a second to download the app. And it should be ready to go. So as soon as you download the app, I recommend just going ahead and opening the app and logging in to the app. So you'll use the same login that you use for your car seat check form. So this is our login. And then once we get there, this is what the app looks like. So there's program partners down there and then um, several options here. It is important for the first time you log in to log in with a data connection, either Wi-Fi or Verizon, at t something like that, just so the app can query the database and get all the agencies, liability statements, and techs added to the system. Once you log in, you'll see four buttons you can click. You can start a new check form, view or submit saved check forms, send app feed at feedback or log out. Log out just logs you out of the app so someone else can log in or if you're done using it for the day. Send app feedback. This is where any recommendations, any errors, any bugs that you guys get, you can send feedback through there. It'll come to our email address. But the main two you'll use are the start new check form and the view or submit save check forms. So we'll start with creating a new check form first. So click start new check form. Uh, if you've used the carseatcheckform.org website before, this should follow closely to that. Um, so the first section is caregiver information. So you will go through here, um, fill out the information, Chicago, Illinois, zip, county, uh, vehicle year. So this is important just so you can mark, um, this is how this, the seat is saved in the system. Honda Fit. Um, you can view the liability statement here, read it. Once you're done, click done. Um, go down here to the signature. You can sign it here, click done. Or you can check if the signature's on the paper form. Inspection date, so this is where you'll select what day it is, what day the event happened. Um, you can name the event here, uh, what CPS agency is hosting. This will have all the ones that are put into the system. And you can also add additional techs who are helping with this, and these are all the techs that are in the system as well. Um, and then finally, what state is the event taking place is important. You'll need to go through here, select the state, and everything like that. Um, once you're done, click Save. should give you a pop-up that says the form is saved, and the caregiver information is good. So once you have all the caregiver information entered, you'll want to go up here and click Add Child should take you to, if you've used the carseatcheckform.org website before, it'll be a very similar form. Uh, you'll go through, fill out some answers. Um, you won't be able to switch back and forth, so just go through. Um, and, and anything that shows up red is a question that is required, so you'll need to fill that out. This is just a test form, a manufacturing date, expiration date. And so if you have internet, you, sh you can click these links and it'll take you out. If not, um, just keep going. Answer should be up here. Uh, you can go through and recheck some of these answers if you need to. Uh, most of the Again, if there's misuse for the ones that have misuse, go through there. On departure, again, this stuff you need to fill out is in red. Um, register, caregiver. And the last paragraph, the last section is the caregiver sign off. Go through that. Um, device use, agency document, petition box, and a final inspection sign-off. 
And when you're done, click Save and Close. And now your child should show up there and another child that we've done. Um, so once you're done with the check form, click Close. Save the form before closing. Make sure to click Yes. And that is all you do to fill out a form. Once you fill out the form, uh, it'll be saved here under View or Submit Save Check Forms. Click that button and all the forms that you filled out should be listed here. So unfortunately we can't give it a number yet because it's not actually in the system. So it's gonna be described by the make and model of the car. But um, this is the one we just did previously. So if you click if you click it, you can see all the information that we entered. You can go to the child list, see both children, close, save the form, yes. You can go back there and then click submit. Are you sure you wanna submit this form? Yes. You have a little refresh wheel up there and then you'll get a um, form submitted success. So now it's in the system. So now you can actually delete this one off of your app, but make sure it says submitted in green underneath it before you delete it. It's not in the system until it has that green submitted button. So once you do, once you do that, you can clear it out by clicking delete and then you're cash is saved.